Our sign language interpreter tonight is Belinda Aviambo. The High Court has slammed the brakes on the deal between Kenya Electricity Transmission Company, Ketraco, and the Adani Energy Solutions firm. Justice Bahati Nambuye issued conservatory orders after the Law Society of Kenya sought to stop the deal pending hearing and determination of their case. The deal, valued at 95.6 billion shillings, could have, been, could have seen the Indian conglomerate Adani construct electricity infrastructure in parts of the country. Brenda Wanga reports on the setback, albeit temporary, on the project. The court's decision comes in the wake of a strong defense of the multi-billion shillings electricity transmission deal between Ketraco and Adani by the government. We are trying to accelerate. President William Ruto for the first time breaking his silence on the deal that has attracted attention and criticism from sections of the country populace yesterday. The Adani group are investing in the transmission line, their money, 95 billion. We would have otherwise gone to borrow that money, burden the people of Kenya. This is now a private sector investment, the same way Keshan here is a private sector investment, the same way Socian is a private sector investment. We have got no capacity as a country currently, given our fiscal space, to support or to finance such infrastructure development from our taxes. And again, we cannot continue to borrow money in the normal manner, because the space for more borrowing has increasingly diminished. The Law Society of Kenya moved to court to have the implementation of the 95.68 billion shillings agreement on grounds that the process used to reach the agreement was a constitutional sham tainted with secrecy and was critically short of the principles of integrity, transparency, openness and accountability. It also averred that there was no meaningful public participation and that crucial information about that project was not disclosed. Justice Bahati Mwamuye issued the conservatory orders sought by LSK and suspended the implementation of any project agreement between Ketraco, Adani Solutions, the CS for Energy and Treasury, the Attorney General amongst others, and its related companies and entities with regards to the development of transmission lines, substation, and any other electrical power infrastructure. He further restrained the respondents from entering into any new agreement or furthering any existing agreement with Adani regarding the development of electricity transmission infrastructure. The agreement between Adani Solutions, a subsidiary of the Adani Group, is meant to have the Indian company develop, finance, construct, and operate critical transmission lines and substations across the country on a 30-year lease. I am very happy that for the first time in Kenya today, we will have a transmission line from here in Menengai that will go to Olkalao, that will go to Nanyuki, supply power to that region all the way to Meru. They will for the first time access geothermal power from Menengai. The Law Society of Kenya also opposed this, stating that the transmission lines should not have been leased to a foreign entity as they are national assets and doing so was a violation of the principles of transparency. The matter will be mentioned on the 11th of November in an open and physical court. The orders came as yet another case challenging another Adani deal was referred to the Chief Justice for empanelment of a multi-judge bench to hear it. LSK and the Kenya Human Rights Commission petitioned against plans to hand over the management of JKIA to Adani for a period of 30 years. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV.